Hello and welcome back to Gas Beauty Tabletop Football. I know it's been a while, but uh, I've been quite busy doing a few other bits and pieces. Um, anyway, none of them were as exciting as this. Anyway, I managed to get a bit of time out here today. And I just wanted to show you this before I bolt it on. So if you remember, um, in as part of the stadium redevelopment, I put a runner behind the Thatcher stand on the end so I could bring it out a bit more. And I'm doing that on the side as well. So the newly placed blue and white terrace will come out and not uh, not get in the way of the pitch. And before I bolted it to the underneath, I just wanted to show you what I've done. Right, now, none of this costs any great deal of money. This is a bit of OSB, so board, structural board, chipboard, if you like. Uh, I've just cut a strip of that. I've got a little piece of timber that I actually ripped off an old door frame that was knocking around, so that didn't cost much. And then I had a bit of an off cut there. Uh, and I've built this sort of construction. So it's the same sort of thing that you will see uh, underneath the Thatcher's Terrace. And how this works is effectively, if you imagine, my hand here is the board, the MDF board. So that slots under the side and then I'll screw up through the bottom and it gives you this extra tiny little bit. Well, what's that? Should we measure that actually? That's roughly, this ruler's getting a bit old. I better get a new one. So that has got to be, it is exactly two and a half inches, right? So it gives you two and a half inches extra space, which means the uh, uh, terrace pulls back a bit and it gives you a bit more room on the edge of the pitch, which obviously will be this side. But I wanted to show you that before I put it on, just in case you didn't know, you know, how I'd done it. It's pretty simple stuff, really. Um, I don't know if you're used to doing woodwork or not. I mean, I'm only a DIY sort of project person, really. So all I've done here is um, I clamped it together. So always use clamps uh, because they hold your work sturdy. And then all I did was get the do 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 mark out where you want the where it wanted to be bolted in. You could glue this, but I didn't actually glue it. But you could do that's probably make it a bit stronger. Uh, and then I get a little pirate pilot bit like that, so you don't split the wood. Drill through where these screws are. Get a little uh, countersink. Drill a little bit in there, and then I get these nice little. These are called turbo gold screws. Uh, they're only inch long, and then just gently screw them in with the electric battery drill. Uh, and then that holds together nice and sturdy. Did the same underneath there. Just doing sort of every, what's that, every sort of four or so, four or five inches along. It holds it together nice and sturdy. And you will see that in place uh, when I bolt it in, which won't be today, because I've got to go in now. But um, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Uh, and until next time, I will get back to doing videos soon. It's just I've been really busy doing some other stuff, but... I'm going to get this on and then we'll get back with a few of the stadium build things and a few of the things we're doing. So uh, do, do stay tuned and uh, you will see more of me soon. Anyway, till next time. Out of gas.